Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's uh, walk around video. This for me, you know, uh, I love these cars. These 911s are just great, great pieces of, of uh, first off performance and luxury and things like that. In this case here, this car has, some, I don't know, just a, a great colors inside and outside. It has an uh, enormous amount of options. It's an ultra rare Carrera 4, uh, so it's all wheel drive. And it's just, uh, it's just cool. So let's walk around for a little bit and you'll see some of the quality that you're getting when you buy a Porsche and you'll see why maybe they call it uh, the world's only daily driver exotic. So I'd like to start with the paint for a little bit. Uh, we'd like to try to do some of the fluorescent lights so you can kind of see like any defects and details. And of course there's a couple tiny, tiny stone chips if you're looking for them. Uh, you'd have to put your face up against it, but other than that, this is just a well taken care of car. Color from the factory, seal gray, and inside is a matching light gray leather, uh, classic gray leather interior. It looks really, really good. These are optional 18s uh, that came on the car. They even have a name too. Uh, they're called Sport Technos. And one of the things that you'll notice right away, uh, for some of you and some of you that won't, that it has silver calipers on it versus the factory black caliper that would have gone. The reason it has a silver caliper on it is because those are all the all-wheel drive cars get those, whether it's a Carrera 4 or a Carrera 4S, uh, they all get the silver calipers. And that way you know right away as a Carrera 4. Other thing too, I like to look at these cars for the quality of tire that's on it when I buy it. I know that if somebody spends the money on a tire, for instance, if it was my car or it's your car, you're going to buy the nicest tire you can get. You're not going to overpay, but you're going to buy the nicest car you can get and put on your car. You're not going to put the cheapest tire on your baby. And this car here has a set of Michelin pilots all the way around. All the curb rash uh, is gone from them, so uh, the alloys themselves are in great shape and they look uh, virtually perfect. Car's uh, inspected too, so there's plenty of tread on the tires to enjoy. And uh, I think that you find too that this is an all season car as well. All right, let's keep rolling around the car. Got a great area here for storage, okay? This also comes with a windscreen, even small little things like it has snaps to hold it in place to keep it from going around. So most people would take that out and you have all that for soft luggage. Here's a nice thing too to notice about a car as you're looking to buy one. For instance, like this here. This label right here uh, comes from the factory, and it's when they build this car. These are the actual options that are on the car, and you can type those options into a Porsche decoder online. Kindle has one online, um, and you can punch that in and see that, but it also has the original stickers around. So you, this way you know that if the car had been in an accident, the hood was replaced, you can't buy these stickers, so you couldn't replace that sticker. So the fact that it's on there says to me, hey, this is a nice car, it has original panels and things like that on it. A couple nice features in here. Uh, as we walk around, check this out. So you can have your choice of a four-seater, right? Put the kids back there, which people love. That's why they buy these cars. Or it can become a coupe. And it looks really neat there, too. So check out that look. That whole look there looks really nice. This right here is rollover protection. These are actually individual roll bars. If the car was to start to tilt at all, it has yaw sensors and things like that inside. If it starts to, to tilt either way, these right here pop up. And then if uh, nothing happens, uh, it has a little tool that comes with it. Just crank them right back down, and they go right back down inside the car. Here's one thing that Porsche has given us some thought about. Keep in mind, these are 170 plus mile an hour cars, okay? And uh, you can get some noise at 150 or whatever from convertible tops flapping around. What they've tried to do is secure everything in the car as possible, because we're talking about uh, an exotic car that you could take to the track on a Sunday and drive to work on Monday. So here's a nice little feature. This is the front of the convertible top that would normally sit right here. This is where you get a lot of noise. They've made that part there hard. So it's a hard soft top and folding. And it also keeps it from rattling around. We walk back here for a second. Great call out. I love this. That's just an awesome, awesome emblem. Great looking dual exhaust. This right here. This comes up at a little over 70 miles an hour to try to give you a little downforce. Okay. Inside here, we've got our famous flat six. All the original stickers are still in here. The decals are on there. This is the evidence of a well taken care of, uh, well preserved car that was somebody's baby. Car's been serviced. We talked about the Michelin tires, stuff like that. Looks great outside. Why don't we take a peek inside for a second? Uh, one of the nice features about these cars too is that uh, not only do you have great performance, and that's why they call these cars uh, like the world's only daily driver exotic, is a lot of it uh, gives you some luxury too. For instance, like a uh, one touch uh, convertible top. So you're at the traffic light, just put it in neutral. One button, you don't have to unlatch anything. You don't have to get out and get a boot to cover the, the, the convertible top. It all goes down. It's got a glass rear window. 
that closes right there. It's a light on the dash that shows you when the operation's over, so you know, and you're ready to roll. Some of the things that you would uh, see in this car and then say, okay, this looks really, really nice. Well, the reason it looks really, really nice is because everything in here uh, has so many options and features of it. For instance, like most people don't know that Porsches really come with vinyl rear seats. Get uh, upgraded leather is an option. This has supple leather too, as well as the embossing and the headrest. Can we get a picture of that right there? Look how nice that looks. Optional too is this painted console, which really brightens up the interior some. Some call outs that we see on the sides right here, we have our Bose stickers on the speakers. That means we have the upgraded Bose sound system with CD right here. We have climate control. You can see that you set all your temperatures in there. This has Porsche stability management. It's kind of an expensive option, but it's really nice to have. It helps reel the car back in uh, if it was to get out of control a little bit. And it can individually apply brakes, it can throttle the engine back, it can do all kinds of things to help uh, uh, keep you on the road. Got a nice here, you got a nice glove box. Uh, one thing that Porsche didn't do for a really long time, and that was offer you a cup holder, uh, they finally uh, decided that enough people had complained that, that we'd go ahead and get some cup holders finally. And they did a nice job packaging that. Power locks, power top, right here holds the CDs, and it's kind of nice too when the CD's in there, this lights up red so you know a CD is in there. Optional power seats, I mean uh, heated seats. It does have power seats too. And the interior in gray just looks, looks great. 8,000 RPM tack, full gauges, so they put the tack in the center here, but you can also have, uh, if you want, uh, the speedometer here too at the same time, so that you, you don't have to look to the right. But it has full gauges, including some nice things like outside temperature gauge and uh, and all kinds of uh, controls there. You can even set a speed minder warning for those of us that sometimes maybe uh, would go a little faster than maybe they're supposed to so that it would ding when it hits a certain miles per hour. Uh, not that I know anybody like that, I'm just saying if I did know somebody like that, that's what I would do, okay? Uh, that's it, power windows, power locks, cruise, tilt, uh, keyless entry, alarm system, uh, and just, I don't know, just a really cool car. <laughs>